Goes lead by Carter. Carter ties up his man. He shot it off the side of the net. Now after it is Ryan Sullivan. That's taken away. Here's Carson White. A shot. He scores! Here we go again. Here we go again. The Kodiak score first again. And it's Carson White with a shot from the near side boards. And into the back of the net. Good work down low by Levi Carter to start that play. Ryan Sullivan in on it as well. Carson White gets the goal. And the Kodiaks have the lead on home ice. One to nothing. Here come five Kodiaks to the blue line. A pass to Hodge. Hodge, a pass left wing side. Brought in by Gauld. He puts on the brakes. Now gets it back to the point. Sharp. A rolling puck. He'll get it back to Gauld. Gauld walks in. He shoots. Didn't get through. Now here's Alvarez. Walks in. He scores! Good recovery right there. Noah Alvarez with the goal. And the Kodiak strike on the power play again. And a big one that is. I think I have to say this again. Here we go again. <laughs> the power play is picked up where it left off on home ice. And Noah Alvarez has his second of the season. The Kodiaks have another power play goal and another 2-0 lead on home ice. in the snow on the far side. Oh, the Ouch. ref got hit in the face. Ouch, referee went down. Ah. And, uh, Yowch. Tony Ice stopped that. Now he plays it back this other way for Dean. He shoots to flex up in the air. They score! Back by Andriakos, and the rebound goes just wide. Now back to Willett. He shoots, stopped again. Puck goes to the corner. Sharp couldn't get to it. Now it comes back to Willick. Now across to Meerman. Back to Willick. To Meerman. Shot, scores. And it's a power play goal for the Bulldogs. And they just kept working that around. Willick and Meerman. And finally, it's Brett Meerman with a one-timer. You can't let him have that many opportunities. Seventh goal of the season, third on the power play. 24th point for Brett Meerman comes in the power play. And it's now 3-1 Kodiaks here with 14 and a half minutes to go in this third period. Long pass through center, and that hit the intended target, and a penalty coming up as Chapel took down the player, and let's see. Yes, penalty shot. So with a minute to go, I think, uh, well, no, maybe not. Chapel's coming to the penalty box. He did not, uh, he motioned to center ice, but uh, no, it is a penalty shot. Okay, Chapel comes out of the box. He didn't give the full penalty shot signal, but he pointed to center ice, so I thought it would be a penalty shot. Oh, well, here we go. This will be the second penalty shot this season against the Kodiaks. Wow, 3-1. And here we go. It is Kren on the penalty shot. Walks in on Andriakos. And hit the... No, they call it in. Kren will get the goal. Thought that hit the uh, crossbar. Yeah. Hmm. And the Bulldogs have called a 30-second timeout. And that will do it. The Kodiaks return to Encana Arena for the first time in 10 days. First time in four games and pick up a victory. 3-2, but Emmanuel, that was not easy at the end. Yeah, wow. There was, it was nerve-wracking and there was like a lot of, um, yeah, there was, there was a lot of <laughs> things happening. 
<laughs> and a lot of missed calls tonight. There was a lot going on, that's for sure. It was uh, it was quite a game. But the Kodiak survived. They win at 3-2. Post-game show coming up next from the Hometime Realty Broadcast Center. This is Wild Rose Co-op Kodiak's Hockey, a new country, 981.com and hockey.